Hi, I'm Coach Dan Gordon, and welcome to my podcast for badass entrepreneurs only. If you're an entrepreneur who loves hitting it hard, growing your business, and learning from billionaires how to succeed, then you are clearly badass and you are going to love my show. But if you just want to take life slow and easy, you aren't badass, don't even bother listening. For the rest of you, strap in. For badass entrepreneurs only is taking off now. Hi, I'm Coach Dan Gordon. And today I'm talking with Jim Poole, an amazing businessman who for over a decade has been on a mission to eliminate stress from our lives permanently. Now, think about that. How would your life be different if stress was no longer a factor? How much more could you get accomplished? How much happier would you feel in your business and in your relationships if you no longer felt stressed ever? Now, this isn't some crazy microdosing LSD or essential oils or even meditation. I'm talking about a lab-tested, scientific process that eliminates stress from people's lives. Jim Poole will be discussing the product NuCalm that is at the center of this game-changing revolution for all humanity. You're going to love what this man has to say. But before we get there, know this. Right now, in this moment, you have the power to live your life unlimited. For badass entrepreneurs only can show you the way. Today, I promise to open your mind, to set your thinking on fire, to pull back the curtain on your world and show you what you're truly capable of achieving. Come with me and enter a new reality of infinite success. The doors are locked. The stage is set. It's time to get badass. Ready? Let's go. I want you to imagine that you see a car stuck on the side of the road. As you get closer, you discover that the driver is Superman. Really, Superman. Blue tights, the red cape, the, the whole thing. He says, my car is out of gas. Can you give me a ride? And you say to him, what are you crazy? You're Superman, just fly away. And he says, oh yeah, and takes off. Now, this crazy story is also the crazy truth of every entrepreneur. When we feel stuck, we often get so focused on the problem that we can't think of anything else. But what if instead, your problems were actually showing up to remind you who you truly are? Consider this. Problems are part of a scheme perpetrated by the universe to show up in your life every time you are in desperate need of recognizing your own superpowers. I want you to imagine how different your life would be if your approach to every problem was about curiosity instead of frustration. Rather than feeling like a, a victim, you'd be excited that the universe was about to teach you something amazing about yourself. Your problems, failures, and struggles are just like that car that ran out of gas. They've shown up in your life to challenge your thinking about who you truly are, to remind you that you're Superman and all you have to do is fly. That is the real you. If this sounds compelling, I'd like to help you in discovering your greatest superpowers by sending you a free copy of my book, Jumping the Gap, Kill Your Story and Take Action. Just text the word GAP to my cell phone, 213-409-8366. Text GAP, G-A-P, to, to my cell phone, 213-409-8366. This book will help you in recognizing the greatness that lives inside of you. Again, text the word GAP, G-A-P, to my personal cell phone. 213-409-8366 and get a copy of my book, Jumping the Gap, Kill Your Story and Take Action. Well, I am super thrilled to introduce my guest, Jim Poole. Jim is the chairman, president and CEO of Solus Life Sciences Incorporated, maker of NuCalm, 
which is the world's first and only patented technology clinically proven to reduce stress without drugs. Let me say that again. It's clinically proven to reduce stress without drugs. Jim is an amazingly accomplished business executive and entrepreneur with degrees in psychology and an MBA in business and marketing from the prestigious Babson Graduate School of Business. Talk about a guy who knows his stuff. In 2005, Jim co-founded Focused Evolution, a premier global management consulting firm. Under his leadership, they grew into a multi-million dollar business, serving clients from 49 companies and a broad range of industries. In 2009, having gained experience in healthcare, biotechnology, life sciences, market research, and IT, Jim went to work for Solace Life Sciences Incorporated. As director of strategic operation, this eventually led to the development of Newcom. And if that weren't enough, Jim also serves on the board of several medical device firms. He's a business leader, accomplished author and public speaker, giving lectures all over the world on topics including stress, recovery, performance, and business strategy. And oh my God, are we ever lucky to have Jim here. Jim Poole, welcome, welcome, welcome to Badass Entrepreneurs Only. Thank you, Dan. It's a pleasure to be here, an oh. honor, and uh, I'm looking forward to this discussion. It, it, is, it is all my honor, Jim. It's just, it's so wonderful that you've taken time. You know, I usually like to kind of go with my guests through uh, like a timeline of their life, but I, I just, I feel like I, I, I just want to jump right in. So would it be okay if we skip right to the middle and talk about this miracle newcom? Would that be okay? Yes, it would. Fantastic. So, you know, when I, I, I was thinking about this, like when it comes to stress, most of us think of it as this like a natural part of life, right? Like gravity. You let go of a glass, it drops and it breaks. You work hard, you get stressed. That's just the way that it is. But you and your company looked at stress and said, we can beat this. So first of all, like who, who's the genius behind Newcom? Like who, who came up with this? Dr. Blake Holloway. So genius is probably an understatement. Wow. A compassionate hero to humanity. Just an amazing human being. And I speak to him in the past tense because he passed away in December 20th of 2020. Oh, I'm so sorry. Blake had a clinical practice in Texas. Now, Texas and California have the highest number of veterans in the United States. And so his clinical practice was focused mostly on trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder. And the traumatized brain, Dan, often finds solace in drugs and alcohol. So there's sure. a strong correlation in comorbidity to trauma and drugs and alcohol. So um, Blake simply would state this. He said, listen, Jim, if someone came to me in pain and I wanted to help them, if I'm going to follow conventional therapy, which dictates that I give them a narcotic based pharmaceutical, which is not solving the problem, it's right. simply managing the symptomology. And then I try to engage in cognitive behavioral therapy to a brain that is so frightened, so on edge. I am condemning them to a life of misery and eventual death. They're not taking their life, Jim, because they are cowards. They're taking their life because they're so tired of living in this constant state of hypervigilance. So the new calm concept, which I think is absolutely fascinating, is not derived out of the necessity to create a healing technology to change humans. The new calm technology is derived to allow the body to do what it knows how to do. Your body knows how to heal. The whole idea of new calm was how do I downregulate the stress response and allow the body's naturally healing response to take shape? <laughs> That's so cool. And that leads me into the first thing that I want to talk about, because I built this podcast with the entrepreneur in mind, like what they struggle with. And a big part, you know, having coached people for over two decades, the thing that people struggle with the most is stress. And so before we get into the science of Newcom, which I, I totally want to geek out on, can you tell me like, what is stress made of? So if, like, if stress were a cake, what would the ingredients be? The central nervous system has one primary function, self-preservation. If you're not alive, obviously, all the other jobs don't make any sense. So the central nervous system is designed expressly for self-preservation to keep us alive. That's fight or flight, but it's also fear, stress, anxiety, depression, and worry. 
It's pretty wild and pretty easy to understand. Number one, your central nervous system doesn't like making mistakes. And your central nervous system doesn't want to take any risks because it doesn't like failure, doesn't like shame, doesn't like guilt, doesn't like feeling insecure or like a loser. Mm. So it remembers all the things you've ever done. And if you wake up one day and you have a certain meeting in a specific environment that historically you failed at miserably, you may not remember that, but your central nervous system does. So all it does is it triggers the amygdala of the midbrain and activates the reptilian side of our brain. And, and, and all on that, uh, just, what does that mean? The amygdala, the reptilian, what's the amygdala is in the midbrain. It, it kind of serves like Captain Kirk of the Star Trek Enterprise. It triggers this whole cascade of hormones and cortisol and everything mobilizes to take care of you. Now, in our brain, something I call the itty bitty shitty committee. <laughs> You know that committee that tells you you're not good at this, you're insecure, you're weak, whatever that is, we all have it. It's who we think we are. It's our narrative. And then the reptilian side of our brain is fear, stress, anxiety, depression, and worry. We start being crazy. Okay. We start being impatient. We start being anxious. We start being fearful. Okay. Let, let me run a scenario for you. Let's say I have this huge international deal pending, right? And all I have to do is transfer $500,000 from my bank account to the other bank account and the deal goes through, right? So I wake up in the morning about to do that. I, I look at my bank account and the bank account is empty, right? Now, everything in my future is depending on this. Why don't I look at that and go, wow, that's really odd. I'll call the bank and work this out. Like, why don't I do, I do that in, in, instead of going, oh my God, I'm screwed. Because we are networked that way. We are all pre-wired to have that crazy experience, you're going to react with histrionics, anxiety and fear, and you're going to freak out. To me, there's, there's even an anticipatory anxiety before I even wake up and look at the bank. Mm. Because when I'm looking at my bank account before I get there, I'm thinking, is this truly going to be what I want it to be? If this is such a big deal, I'm going to apply a lot of pressure and expectation on my shoulder. So I'm already building anticipatory anxiety in my sleep before I even get up to go do the transaction. Okay, and I'm so starting to think about all the reasons why I'm not going to be successful. Right. And, and so that's that's one side of it. The uh, the other side, and I know someone is listening to this right now saying, I need my stress. My stress keeps me sharp. Right? My stress keeps me on the ball. What do you say to those people? It's semantics. Uh, stress in the form of cortisol, stress in the form of catecholamine, stress in the form of caffeine, coffee, being alert and functioning. Mm -hmm. Please. I've been using new calm and have remediated or eviscerated stress for 13 years. I'm a hard driver. I'm working 19 hours a day. I'm traveling all the time. I have not slowed down a bit. The only challenge is instead of having to burn calories on fear, stress, anxiety, and depression and worry, anticipatory anxiety and insecurity, mm -hmm. I'm focused, lucid, and ready to go. We are not going to change your ability to function. We're not going to change your ability to do everything you want to do as a type A driven, ambitious leader. We're simply going to resolve the negative. Let's take the other side of the equation. Stress will kill you with a really nasty, nefarious disease. Right. You're going to die about 10 years younger than you should. There's nothing good about living off the human stress response. That's a kind of an insane way to think through things. And hopefully people listening to this will stop that idea. Yeah. And the other thing is that people are afraid to change. I just tried this out. I tried out Newcom and I'm excited to talk about how it works and what it is. And yet, Jim, there was something in my head that said, am I going to be okay? And I like, what do you think <laughs> that some people are like addicted to stress because it's like, mm, this is kind of like how I do it. And I don't want to change. Oh, of course. Listen, I was running this company for seven months before I figured out if I gave myself 30 minutes of new calm, it repaid me with 10 hours of clear, highly efficient, productive thinking and work. American people today, just in our, in our culture, we're incredibly resilient and we're incredible at normalizing things that aren't right. So, yes, we do need to take some risks. And yes, we do need to change. And yes, it's difficult for the brain to conceptualize things that are out of the norm. So you kind of just got to try it and roll with it. Yeah. I want to talk about the entrepreneurial side of how you're piercing that feeling of, ooh, it's something new. I don't want to try it. But before we get there, 
you've worked for this company for over 13 years. What made you stay so dedicated to creating Newcom? When Blake first introduced the concept to me, he said a simple statement. He said, I've invented a technology that quickly, safely, and predictably relaxes the mind and body within minutes with no side effects. I, I think intuitively there was an emotional connection with him immediately because of his compassion for helping people. And also, you know, to be honest with you, Dan, the brain is so fascinating and you're never going to get bored learning about the human brain. So once I learned what this could do, this is in October of 2009. Right. And then I saw that intellectually in the IP landscape, there was nothing in the world like it. There's not a patent attorney on earth that comes to you and presents hyperbole. They came back to us after analysis and said, if you get this patent, you will own the only patent in the world for balancing the health of the human autonomic nervous system. It made me shift my entire focus as a man. I was only 39 years old. It made me shift everything that I thought was important. Dan, once you start changing someone's life, literally feeling their soul as they're hugging you, because all you did was liberate them from stress that's consumed them their entire life. There you go. Mm. And what you just said just really touched me. Because when I talk to entrepreneurs about what they want to bring into the world, the first thing I talk about is how does this benefit people? Not the money, because if it benefits a lot of people, people will buy it. What for, for you were the biggest surprises, the struggles, the triumphs, the pitfalls of this journey? Every business has its journey, right? And so a lot of the things that we went through are pretty typical. The challenge or kind of the most unique aspect of this particular journey has been the pioneering aspect. Hmm. Because there is no point of reference. When I say, hey, this is new calm. It's, you know, applied neuropsychobiology or it uses biosignal processing. Just anything I say, no one understands anyway. So they can't put it in a place. They can't do the Pepsi Coke challenge because there's no point of reference. And it's amazing to me, two things that are really fascinating about the human condition. As smart as we are, we have some severe limitations. Number one. If we don't have a point of reference, we, it just, we like dangle in space. Okay. I don't understand that. Number two, humans are egregiously incapable of understanding intangible. If I can't see it, touch it, feel it, smell it, and taste it, I'm not sure it's there. So here we are bringing frequency medicine to the world with no point of reference. And people think for the last 13 years that we came from Mars. That's been the biggest challenge in this venture. Okay. And, and so inside of that, what were some of the things that got in the way that you said, oh, I, are we going to be able to get past this? Cash flow right out of the gate. <laughs> yeah. And, and thanks for saying that because 90% of businesses failed, not because of a lack of ideas, but because of a lack of money. So yes. what did you do about that? Ca cash is king. Yeah. This is a big challenge for us, Dan. So I came out of the private equity world and I'm used to large budgets. Yeah. It's difficult to raise money when the fundamental principle of investing money is you have to understand what you're investing in. Right back to the intangible, right? Yeah. So guess what? We're never going to get institutional money with this ever mm. because no one will ever understand it. And even if they want it and try it and love it, they still can't get past that non-starter. So early on, what we did was we did a convertible promissory note with friends and family and then just started selling immediately. This happens to be a class three medical device, very highly regulated FDA. So we had to do this through the doctor channel. And October of 2009, I take over as chairman, president, CEO of the enterprise. November of 2009, we sell our first new column system to doctors. Hmm. Like three weeks. That speed was necessity because we didn't have the cash flow. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, you go raise some short-term cash. You know, when you're doing this, you're always raising just enough cash to get by, which creates more stress because you're like, well, we really need more cash. The second challenge for us really has to go with, what the hell are you talking about? This is 13 years ago. No one was even talking about stress, recovery, sleep, restoration, but no one understood what we were trying to accomplish. So, so it was the cash flow piece. And then you have to find people that are willing to sacrifice right? I'm 39 years old. I'm raising three girls and I'm not taking a paycheck for four and a half years. Explain that to your spouse. There's this movie called The Secret. 
And it, it's a fascinating movie about you know, manifestation and the law of attraction. But I always wanted to make a movie called The Dirty Secret because in between the, the imagination and the getting it, it is the 3 a.m. pacing back and forth. It's the, your spouse looking at you like, what are you doing? Right? It's those dark times where you don't have anything to hold on to to say this is working or we're going to get there. Like there's nothing to, to point to. How did you stay in it during those times? I always knew the outcome. I always knew that we're going to help save humanity from itself. I always knew that we are here to liberate humans from stress. And if I thought otherwise, I would have left. I have never not had an absolute sense of certainty. I never knew it was going to take so long. I didn't, to be honest with you. And it's really just in the last couple of years that I've really kind of paid more attention to when you're pioneering, how long does it take? Mm -hmm. And I take solace in the fact that it takes several iterations of bankruptcy, right? I've never lost that, that belief. Now, I will share with you guys a funny story. My wife was doing the dishes about four years into running this company. And she's doing the dishes and I come up behind her and I hug her and she says, you know, how's it going? I said, it's pretty rough. Are you ever going to get paid? Are you going to get a real job? It was a punch to the solar plexus. And instead of reacting, I just thought to myself, you know what? Shame on me. But obviously I didn't share with my wife the, the mission and the purpose we're on. And I said, I'm sorry that I have not communicated effectively what I'm on here. But this is a hero's journey. This is a sense of purpose beyond, far beyond me, far beyond you, far beyond our kids. And it's got nothing to do with me. What I do care about is leaving a legacy of improving the human experience. Because if I don't, no one else was finding Dr. Holloway in the hills of Kerrville, Texas. Mm. No one else was going to be able to piece together these elements and build something. They didn't have that capability or they didn't have that patience or they didn't have. I'm not a profiteering, greedy person, even though I worked on Wall Street. Right. So the fabric of my being, some of the ways that I got here, I was raised by two psychotherapists. I was socially conditioned to do the right thing when no one's looking. So I told my wife and said, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this, but I will never work for the man again. Mm -hmm. I will never compromise my values and integrity for, the, for a company. And I will never stop on this journey because we are changing the world. And what would I do next, Nicole? Seriously, what would I work on next? Tell me what I could be passionate about. That was nine years ago. And, and Jim, you're speaking to every dedicated entrepreneur right now who's struggling with that same thing. I hear so many people complain, I don't feel supported. My partner doesn't do this. My boss, my family. And I say that you are not going to be supported. Dr. King, was, he was no. hated hate it and they're not going to get it and if 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 you as an entrepreneur and speaking to you the listener if you do not have full commitment beyond rationality you are not going to get there and jim your story is is beautiful because you recognize that you hadn't transferred your passion to your wife she couldn't possibly connect to what you were doing because you were holding it in and you took the risk of sharing that with her and she could have very well said, uh, okay, that's fine, but it's still a bad idea. And this is the risk that entrepreneurs make. It is not a risk of finance, but it's a risk of heart. And you put your heart and all of yourself into something. And, it's, and the results, because you did that, are amazing and this is what it takes. And nothing is going to stop it. Nothing. Right. In the entrepreneurial world, you're, you're exactly right. It is lonely, lonely, lonely. There's nobody for me to confide in. I would never talk to my team about anybody on my team. That's not leadership. I will not talk to my wife about things because she's already sacrificed a lot of me, of who she married, to an enterprise that she may or may not believe in. So you're not going to get it there. It's got to come inside your heart. Mm -hmm. It's got to be something that's so ingrained in your DNA and your sense of purpose. You, you put the pieces together on the chessboard with strategy and with hope and with, with gusto and guts. But you have to be patient. You have to be honorable. You have to be focused. You have to be persistent. And you have to be humble. Yeah. And, 
I, I want to get into Newcom and what it is and how it works. And by the way, if you're interested in Newcom, you can check it out right now at newcom.com. That's N U C A L M.com. N U C A L M.com. Newcom. I want to ask one question before we get into it. And this is because any endeavor, like I say this a lot, nothing great was ever created alone. And you had the opportunity to work with a whole host of geniuses who had a lot of different personalities. And I understand some with Asperger's and autism. And, and what is it like developing technology or developing anything with people who have a very different approach to the world? Amazingly challenging. Mm. If you're an impatient person, if you're demanding of due dates and things done in operational fashion, you will lose your mind. I met with monks seven years ago mm. and we sat down together and it was David Poole, who's my identical twin brother and myself. Oh. We sat down with the monks and they said, why you two? Why were you chosen to run this endeavor? Why were you chosen to change humanity? And we're like, what? He said, you didn't pick this. You guys were chosen and it's already done. It's already written. The success is already there. You're just following the path. Mm. That was really enlightening to me and kind of really helped me to understand the more you try to control, the less you can control. So working with some of the brightest minds on this earth who are afflicted with social issues and Asperger's or autism is a huge challenge, but it's a necessity to get these incredible inventions. Right. That's just the way it is. So working in that environment and working with people so bright, if you try to impose your will and you try to dictate, mm. you will lose and you will lose every time. Humility and belief and persistence and dedication and an understanding of what you're doing is really important and you're going to get there, but you will never know the path you're going to get there on. Mm. And when you think you do or you think you're controlling it, you're misguided that misguiding will give you frustration and it'll burn you out. In a way, it sounds like you're saying certainty is the enemy. Yeah. Well, every time I think this sucks, I knew calm and I get up and I feel amazing again. I'm all right, let's go. Seriously. And so on that note, I can't wait any longer. Tell us about this genius invention, everything about it, how it works, what it does, what is it? How often can you use it? Does it plug you into the matrix? Like what's the whole process of Newcom start to finish? Amazing. Your audience is going to love what we're about to talk about. It's going to sound very far out there. It's not. We've done 32 years of research. Hmm. We spent $35 million building the perfect mousetrap. So where we focus, Dan, is really relatively simple in theory. Your brain is oscillating at a certain frequency. Gamma is 39 to 41 hertz. It's the fastest frequency. And when your brain is oscillating at 39 or 41 hertz, you are in what's called high intensity mistake free focus. We can't get there easily as humans. And when we're there, we can't stay there. And so where does okay? the new calm then fit in in all of this? All right. So then we start getting to the cool stuff. Okay. Alpha. Alpha is 12 hertz to 8 hertz. Alpha is synonymous with creativity, relaxation, recovery, and rest. It's also synonymous with transcendental meditation. Then we go slower waveform to theta. Theta is 7 hertz to 4 hertz. When your brain is in theta, your body is healing and restoring, increasing your resilience, your longevity, your health, your well-being. Then we go to delta. Delta is the slowest waveform, 4 hertz to 0 0.5 hertz. And when you are in delta, you are in dreamless, like deep sleep. So that is human function. When my brain is at 1 hertz, I'm in dreamless, like sleep. When my brain is at 12 hertz, I'm relaxed. When my brain is at 16, I'm focused. When my brain is at 26, I'm stressed. When I'm, my brain is at 31 hertz, I'm out of my mind stressed. And when my brain's at 40 hertz, I'm focused. That is the landscape that we play in when we started the whole journey of new calm. Okay. First thing in the morning, your cortisol is the highest level. Then you start thinking through what your to-do list is Then stress starts kicking in. Then you have caffeine. We're going to take you backwards into alpha and theta, because we know that every minute you're in theta, your mind, body, spirit is balanced. We're going to balance your autonomic nervous system. So how does the product work? The brain and the body communicate in two ways and two ways only. 
chemical messaging and electrical messaging. And we are commandeering both channels. Okay. The goal of New Calm is to manage your brainwave. But if we don't stop your adrenals, it will never work. Your audience can see a little disc underneath my watch. Right. Yeah, and for people listening, there's a there's a disc about the size of a quarter that Correct. Is, that's on Jim's wrist, about an inch and a half down from his from the wrist. Okay, this disc looks like a sticker. It looks really simple. Nothing we do is simple. Six years of research and development. Is the disc putting something into your body because it's not plugged into anything. What's it doing? So for you, for those of you listening, you put the disc on the left wrist and like a tuning fork, it shuts down adrenaline. It's like having a glass of wine or two with no cognitive impairment. I can tell you like this, like I just did it this, this morning. This thing is truly sensational. So you put the disc on. What's the next step? So the first few minutes that you tried New Calm today, nothing happened. Right. Your mind was just wandering. That's because we are seeking permission from your central nervous system. Then you noticed, wow, wait a second. My body's starting to feel heavy. I'm starting to lose sense of time. I'm starting to get into this lucid dream state. Then for the duration of your experience, you're in the deepest form of healing just above sleep. You're in that theta state. So Blake, I can't even believe he figured this out. Nobody on our, we have a medical advisory board of 52 of the world's top doctors, academicians, and scientists from Harvard and NASA and the medical director of the NFL. We've got some brilliant minds. Collectively for 13 years, we haven't figured this out. The disc on your wrist is the chemical messaging telling your adrenals to stop. Right. Your eye mask stops stimulation. And then in that music is all this physics tricking your brain and slowing you down. We're presenting your brain with a beat and a pattern and the brain will follow that pattern. Mm. But the brain is really smart. The brain will not fall for a weak pattern. The music with new calm simply creates an envelope for the physics underneath that music. Dan is over $9 million of patented mathematics, physics, and algorithms, the most complex software ever created and patented. It's an amazing gift to the human race because we now have the power to downregulate on demand whenever we want to. You just need to be in a safe place that's comfortable. And bye-bye, you're going on a journey and you're going to love it. And I can tell you the 30 minutes that I did it went in a blink of the eye. Yes. I couldn't believe when it was over that 30 minutes had gone by. Like I was not expecting this experience out of this. I've, I really was. I've tried a lot of different modalities to reduce stress, all kinds of hypnotism and, um, and meditation. And it was nothing like that. All of my senses just eased out. And mm -hmm. when it brought me back out of it, which it does very gently, which is, yes. is, is beautiful, it was just an ease of self and calm. Like, I mean, I was a little nervous about this interview and I, I, I like, I walked in the studio and I was like, it's going to be great. And it's the same as a meditating monk. However, we do it through science right. and the physical manifestation. What we did while you feel good afterwards is we put oxygen rich red blood to your prefrontal cortex. Yeah. That's all we did. We're tight on time, Jim, but I want to know, uh, who has been using this? Whose hands has this been in? So we're a neuroscience company, but I'm a businessman. So you can imagine it takes a lot of patience to sit on the sideline having to do FDA, Health Canada, approval in China, military approval. Yeah. All this time and money to me is non-value added. So in 2009, we started serving the medical community, a $6,000 class three medical device per system. We've done over 2 6, million surgical... $6,000. We've done over 2 million surgical procedures with Nucalm. No anesthesia, Dan. Come on. No anesthesia. We will take six teeth out of your skull in an oral maxillofacial surgical with Nucalm and a local anesthetic. 2 million surgical procedures. That led to, in 2011, starting work with professional athletes. The Chicago Blackhawks credit the 2013 and 15 Stanley Cups to new calm on record, which is a tremendous endorsement. You say, well, why the hell is that? They say simple. 
Our players healed faster, recovered better. And he said, and more importantly, we want our players to play intense, not tense. New call made them clean the slate every night. It's incredible. We've worked with over 50 professional sports teams, 58 UFC fighters, Le Mans 24 hour, Formula One, NASCAR, the U.S. Tennis Association. We're at the uh, U.S. Open every year. In 2013, we began work with the military. We work across the Department of Defense, from Navy SEALs to Special Forces to Air Force Special Operations Command, Border Patrol, BORTAC, BORSTAR, the FBI, FBI Houses Rescue Team. So people are like, hey, does this work? I don't talk about the science. I say, I don't know. Do you think the FBI is going to use this every day if it doesn't work? Okay. Those are amazing endorsements. Everything that you're talking about, it sounds like magic, Jim. And yes. people tend to look at that and go, oh, here's another crazy idea from a bunch of crazy yes. people. But what is it that you did to pierce that, you know, that negative feeling about this? Everybody who's an entrepreneur knows that you have to understand the target market and you have to understand the buying behavior of a human being. Right. This sounds like magic. Yes. But when you go to them and say, hey, before we get started, let me share with you. There's 24 years of research here. It's FDA. It's... It's a class three medical device. It's patented. We have 52 doctors on our medical advisory board. Here's your peer reviewed journal articles. It's health Canada approved. It's military approved. Once you establish that credibility, they're not going to read the research because they're not going to understand it. Mm. Their brain just needs to check the box and say, okay, I'm not going to be fooled by voodoo. This is real. and It's predicated on science. Yes. That is how we did it. It's not easy. But you just understand, hey, this is where we're playing. That's how we got in the door. But once somebody tries New Calm, it doesn't matter the words I use. The experience is so profound. Then in the military and in professional athletics, what do they do? They have quantified tools. They're constantly evaluating their operators and their athletes. So guess what they see? Holy shit. This person is sleeping better. Their REM is better. Their deep sleep is better. Their HRV is better. Their respiratory sinus arrhythmia is better. New Calm is better than it sounds and it sounds like a miracle and it sounds yeah, like yeah. magic so the beauty of this dan is simple in november of 2021 blake's last invention the disc before he passed away liberated us from the fda we have a consumer focused more affordable easier to use product and now we get to do something called marketing <laughs> amplify the awareness of what we have and share with people what we're doing the beauty of this is in the last five years, the zeitgeist has changed. We're starting to learn that we can't be cortisol warriors with our foot on the accelerator at all times right. and expect to be performing at our best. We have the only solution. What used to be a $6,000 class three medical device used only by the elite military and professional athletes can now be yours. So it's amazing the track record we have, but I'm going to say this. It's the relationships that give me value. Right. It's the relationships and understanding that I can text the leaders of the FBI and they'll text me back immediately. I can text Tony Robbins like I did yesterday and text me back immediately. We have built relations with people because we take care of people. Mm. That is our ethos. Do the right thing when no one's looking. This technology has proliferated in 10 years because the product simply works. Whew. I'm so touched by not just what you created, but what's behind what you've created. You had a vision about what you could bring to the world. And it, it wasn't just a level of determination. It was just like, there is no other option. Yes. Right? And it is the stuff of Dr. King and Gandhi and Mother Teresa, a vision of a better world that you are determined to make happen. And you took Solus Life Sciences Incorporated from scrounge around for money to what, a $30 million company now? Correct. Right. So that journey alone is historical. And yeah. let's face it, neuroscience is not typically a large income producing industry. You know, when you say, I'm going to start a neuroscience company, investors aren't lining up around the door to throw cash at you. They're running. They're running. They're running. And yet you took this scrounging for cash, wondering what's going to happen to $30 million, making something that sounds like magic, but it's your passion, Jim. It's your passion. It is a dogged determination, relentless passion for creating something to make the world greater. And there is no higher pursuit for any entrepreneur. 
it can't be about the money. It's got to be about what you're creating. And you have created something of a sensation. And so last question, what's the next step? What's the next evolution for Solidus Life Sciences Incorporated and for Newcom, which again, people can find at newcom.com, N-U-C-A-L-M.com. What's the next step evolution? What's the vision, Jim? We're in it. Newcom's a flagship product, and we've sold millions and millions of dollars of Newcom. But in November, we launched several other categories. We now have Ignite Warrior Brain. Ignite Warrior Brain was used by the United States Department of Defense and professional athletes for six years. There is no disc. There's no eye mask. Just using headphones and the physics, we amplify your brainwave frequency to 39 to 40 hertz and activate you for high performance. Think about this. Our special forces elite operators on a mission where life and death is a nanosecond away are using this. Our professional athletes, Tony Robbins and I trained the Golden State Warriors together. Tony Robbins and I trained the Washington Capitals together. We've got world champion after world champion after world champion using Ignite to amplify. We also launched Deep Sleep. The sleep industry today is a $585 billion industry. People are desperate for sleep. People don't understand sleep. If you're not sleeping well, you're going to spend $6,000 on a bed. Clearly, you don't understand human physiology. <laughs> it's not the external aspect. It's your internal neurochemistry and biology. Deep sleep is a miracle to me. There is no headphone. There is no disc. There's no eye mask. You play it ambiently in your bedroom at night. And like Maxwell's silver hammer mm -hmm. from the Beatles, it comes down upon your head. You fall asleep immediately. And next month, we're launching Focus. Now, today, we've created a platform for the first time in human history that allows you to change your mental state on demand without drugs, without side effects, and without compromise. You literally say to yourself, hey, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to go work out. I'll listen to Ignite. Hey, I didn't sleep well last night. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I want to restore and recover. I'll use New Calm. Hey, I'm going to bed. It's 10 o'clock at night. I'll put on deep sleep. Hey, I'm working. I want to focus. I want to write. I'll do focus. That's our science. And that's our gift to humanity. Yeah. Change your state on demand. As an entrepreneur, trust me on this. Don't use stress as the catalyst to get you through the day. That's the catalyst to get you to a miserable life, emotional, psychological. Entrepreneurs suffer a, a tremendous fate. Stress is not your friend. I just, I want to tell you how touched I am about all, all this. Without this and this type of work, we're doomed, Jim. We're doomed. Yeah. You look at the, at the insurrection. These are not happy people. They aren't people who are filled with joy and hope for the future. They're desperate. They're not stupid. They're people with hearts and they're concerned. And it is a disruption of calm, a disruption of a, a belief that they can create change for themselves in their lives that drives people to do things like an insurrection, like a mass shooting. It's, it's a belief that I am powerless that makes me want to react with my fists. By bringing this in, it allows the creative pipeline to the mind to open back up again. The feeling of, I can affect change in my life. And there, there is a, a more productive way, and I'm going to find it, rather than I have to fight my way out of this, which is all that stress tells us. And what you've done is you have made a, a business out of peace and you're putting it in the hands of the people right now who need it the most, our government, the people who are struggling, who are defending us. And now it's time to put it in everybody's hands. And that's what you're doing. Yes. Newcom.com, N-U-C-A-L-M.com. This is not a $6,000 device. It's very inexpensive. Because every dollar that you put into this, you're going to get so much more productivity, so much more availability of your creative mind. I'm just so thankful that you're in the world right now, Jim, because it's you and nobody else. If you hadn't done this, there wasn't somebody else to do it. That's right. So, Jim, thank you, thank you, thank you for what you've done for all of us. And is there 
anything that you would like my listeners to do to help you in your pursuit of bringing greater peace to the world? Yeah. Pay attention to the fact that just like food, sex, water, and sleep, you need to engage in stress management. It doesn't have to be new calm. It can be yoga, tai chi. It can be meditation. We have to find balance and we have to get back to the people we are and get back to being present in your life. Many of us are bystanders looking at the next thing to do. Mm -hmm. And we're all driven by something. I'm not driven by money. I'm driven by sense of purpose. And that purpose ensures that all the sacrifice I make feels like no sacrifice at all. Yeah. So go to newcalm.com, N-U-C-A-L-M.com and just get it, just get it and get the benefits now and share it with everybody that you know and love. Jim Poole, thank you, thank you, thank you for being on For Badass Entrepreneurs Only. Wonderful. Thank you very much, everybody. And before we wrap up, I want to remind you to get a free copy of my book, Jumping the Gap, Kill Your Story and Take Action. Just text the word GAP, G-A-P, to 213-409-8366. It will help you take bold new action on your entrepreneurial journey. Text the word GAP, G-A-P, to 213-409-8366. And I also want to thank you. Yeah, you. The you who is listening to this show right now. Thank you for opening your mind and stepping into the world of infinite possibilities. My guests all of them breathe the same air you do. There's nothing stopping you from taking bold action, opening up your world, challenging yourself to step up and live your life unlimited. I'm Coach Dan Gordon. Thanks for listening. Now get out there and show the world the next greatest version of you. Hey, if you have some thoughts about the show you'd like to share with us, or if you think you've got what it takes to be a guest, send me a text at 213 213- 409-8366. x Let me know what you think, or let me know why you think you'd be a great guest for this show. Thanks again for listening. I hope you're inspired to unleash your badass self on the world.